American Electric Power and the Electric Power Research Institute launched Illumination Lab to accelerate startup collaboration with utility partners. This boot camp, industry collaboration, and 10-week proof-of-concept program wrapped into one was an open call to startups from around the world. The lab specifically asked for new technologies and customer experience, grid optimization, operations and maintenance, electric mobility and electrification, and data analytics. More than 200 companies applied to Illumination Lab. It's important for any company that's serious about being relevant in the future to look at what others are thinking about from uh, the future standpoint. It's really important that we uh, gather all those perspectives together, participate uh, in the process, and bring better solutions to our customers. From the companies that applied, 16 companies were asked to pitch their ideas on Pitch Day in Columbus, Ohio in May. This was their chance to win an opportunity to work with AEP, EPRI, or one of Illumination Lab's seven participating utilities. We heard great ideas that people are pushing forward into our space, and so we're going to connect with several of these companies and try to bring ourselves forward uh, as a result. For us, it's all about getting exposure to these startup companies and figuring out early on if the technology, how it works, what, what does it work for, what is it good at, what is it not good at. Well, I'm hoping that this is just the start of something that we will be involved in along with some other utility partners that are also here with AEP to think about how to really integrate those startup companies into the way we think about our business and the solutions that we give to our customers. Six companies ultimately were selected to continue on with Illumination Lab. Our core customers are fleets. But we also realize that fleets need to operate within a utility environment for electric vehicles. And we believe that utilities need to take control of this before it's too late and hits them in the head, which is why we want to work with AEP and, and the Illumination Lab to develop those solutions. Uh, this is the be all and end all for Hyperion to be in the space. So winning is absolutely um, you know, all that we want. Uh, so um, it, it, it certainly launches us forward uh, in our quest to be successful in this space. Um, so it is a big deal for us to win. We applied because we feel that bringing our technology to a greater utilities workforce is going to enable people to be able to do more things. Uh, with the, the growing population of eligible retirees inside of the utilities space and new labor coming in, our technology really helps capture that expert knowledge. Really understanding what the customer needs are and what the customer problems are because we have assumptions and we have measured what the problems are in Europe and we really want to show and want to see what the problems are here so that we can adapt uh, our solution to the biggest market in the world, the United States. It's uh, really exciting for us to, 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 yeah, to interact with them and, and to, to, to build, to adapt our product uh, in order they can use it on a daily basis and support their operation and make their, uh, their, their daily work easier. Because we know that utilities need to innovate and uh, we're excited when they uh, reach out to us to uh, explore these opportunities and we have a great solution for them. Where do we go from here? For this year, this is really just the kickoff of who did we find most interesting that we're really going to go do some interesting projects with. We're going to take 10 weeks to look at those companies, prove efficacy of those solutions, but that isn't even the end of the road. Once we find the results out of that 10-week engagement, then we're really looking for the deep dive demonstration and scale deployments in the market. The six pilot teams met in Chicago for their midpoint reviews. At that session, the startups and their project leads reviewed the project scopes, progress to date, key learnings, risks, and next steps. The startups from Illumination Lab also participated in EPRI's Venture Day that included fast pitches from the companies, a speed dating session, and a networking event. I think we need to, uh, to lose up uh, the old approach of doing things slowly. We need to do quickly, try things, uh, fail fast. But I think what startups bring is um, they're able to move very, very quickly. They're able to form a, a product or a technology much faster. They're enthusiastic, they're very small, they don't take no for an answer, and they help challenge our thinking so we think differently and make us move faster. It cannot be underestimated the power of collaboration. Collaboration is the future of innovation, it's how industries change, it's how businesses grow. And through programs like the Illumination Lab, of all the people working together, there will be transformation that comes out of it. You know, at the end of the day, innovation is a people business. It's about people and relationships. This is the beginning. We have 350 utilities that we work with, and there is thousands of startup community. And if we can bring that ecosystem together, 
and if we can accelerate how they can go to the market, at the end, customers win because they'll get energy that's more reliable, more affordable, safe, and clean. And that's really what this day shows is what we are doing for customers. These startup companies have been working diligently with leads over the past 10 weeks to bring their proofs of concept to life. And now they're ready to show you the results. These types of projects are important to help shape the future of our industry. We hope to continue these conversations and our momentum as we lead the utility industry into the future.